wanted to document the happiness because <laughs> today has been a bad day I wouldn't say like a very very bad day just some bad things have happened which is why I'm vlogging because I need to get this out basically um, I recently like a month ago started working at this shop in town I'm not going to say which shop um, but it's a a shop and I am a volunteer and basically this man came into the shop today and he he first came up to me and he was asking about where the jewellery was from and at first I said I didn't know so I looked and it said Peru so I told him then he was asking about the stands that the jewellery was on like where we got the stands and um, I said I didn't know and then he told me repeatedly that I was very very beautiful um, and at first I did say thank you because I thought he was just being sweet and kind and then he um, wanted to say hello so he put his hand out to shake for me to shake his and out of politeness I put my hand out and I shook his but he really didn't want to let go of my hand and I ended up having to pull away from him because he wouldn't let go of my hand and then um, he kept saying oh you're so beautiful you're so gorgeous and all of those types of things and I began to feel very uncomfortable I um, I didn't really know what to say so I just sort of I went red I started shaking a little bit and luckily there were other customers in the shop with me um, and he actually asked one of the other customers, oh, don't you think this girl's like really, really pretty um, and, and gorgeous and stuff like that? And she said, um, I can't remember what she said, but like she was sort of being a bit weird about it too. Like she didn't want to answer his question. She didn't want anything to do with this guy. And, and basically after that, I ignored him and I was concentrating on this other customer. I was like, do you need anything? Would you like to have a look at this jewelry and, and stuff like that and helping? But um, he wouldn't leave. He was sort of like stood there for a while, kept saying stuff and I just awkwardly just ignored him. And then he got to the exit and he stood there for a little bit. Um, only like a 30 seconds, but it felt like forever. And then he said something which I didn't hear. I don't really know what he said. I didn't want to ask. And then he left. And then like a few seconds later, my supervisor came down and I told her everything. And as soon as I told her, she went out on the street trying to find him. And she couldn't find him, obviously, because he had left. But um, she wanted to make sure I was okay. The other customer was really nice about it. She was seeing if I was okay, and so was my supervisor. And my supervisor said, like, just if anything like that happens in the future, just press the button to call her from upstairs. And I would have, but I was just, in the moment, I was in shock, and I, I just didn't know what to do. And I just found it really uncomfortable. But now I know, like, what I meant to do. Like, I meant to, like, ring the bell and get my supervisor down and, and stuff like that and I just like I just freaked out um I don't know what he looked like it's sort of like when something like this happens in the moment you know what they look like obviously but like afterwards if someone asks you to describe this person I, I can't all I know is he was like a tall black African man with possibly wearing a leather jacket um I really don't know how to describe him I think he was in like his 20s but I, I can't describe him his accent was sort of difficult to understand as well so at first I didn't understand what he was asking me um it, it was just really 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 weird it took me about an hour to get used to working again I just every time that someone walked into the shop, I thought it was him. Um, I became very, very self-conscious. I was checking the doors constantly in the back of my head. I was thinking, what if he comes back? And I just, I lost all confidence. And it took me about an hour to get used to being okay again. Even after 
I was okay and I was like dealing with other customers I still in the back of my head I was thinking what if he turns up when I'm closing the shop and, and stuff and I just I didn't know what to do I know that he didn't actually like do anything to me he didn't touch me he didn't sexually touch me or anything like that but it just still freaked me out and yeah I just didn't know what to do. I ended up writing notes down. If I had to tell someone, I would know exactly what to say and stuff like that. So I basically just wrote down general stuff. It felt like it lasted ages. I mean, it was only like two, three minutes, but to me it felt like he was there for like five minutes or 10 minutes. And I said to myself, I have two choices. I either let him get to me and I let him affect my day and I let him make me scared to go to work or scared to go to town or I get on with it and I ignore him and I just, I'm not going to let him make me sad. So he did make me a bit shaken up but I'm not going to let him affect my day. The rest of my day was really good. Um, when I told my mum, she bought ice cream for me, we came home, had dinner, watched a film together, and it was just a really, really nice evening with my family, so I was happy. So today's been, I wouldn't say a happy day, but I wouldn't say bad. I would sort of say today's been an okay day. This stuff never happens to me at work, and my supervisor assured me that this stuff never happens with any other people. He wasn't drunk. He was sober. So I don't know if that was just the way that he talks to people, whether he's overly friendly and a bit touchy-feely, or whether um, he was just flirting or just having a laugh. And by the time I upload this, this will probably be a few weeks after it's happened. But yeah, I just wanted to document it to get my words out. I just hope that this doesn't happen to anyone else, because it's horrible.